this is indeed a milestone to have uh, uh, yachts come here to be uh, and using this as a port of entry. Um, of course, a lot of work has gone on behind the scenes, and uh, we'd like to thank all of the officials and the various agencies that have been involved to uh, help us reach uh, this stage. Uh, essentially, the uh, Beni Marama government's uh, policy in this area has been that we need to play a facilitating role, and indeed, as highlighted by John, that uh, we have put in place a number of policies that have made us a lot more friendly to uh, the marine vessels that come in and out of Fiji, and you need the ability to come and cruise in Fiji. Uh, you know, for a country that's got so much water around it, uh, we keep on saying there's so few vessels. Uh, if you go to some other parts of the world, uh, in particular in the Caribbean, uh, etc., you find a lot more marine vessels. It's not just simply a question of having vessels come to Fiji, but it's the provision of the ancillary services around it that creates an industry. And one of the things that had not been mentioned is that we've reduced the duty, for example, in the importation of, uh, of, uh, of yachts or, or vessel, marine vessels into Fiji. And the idea behind that is, of course, not just to provide transportation and you know, cruising and luxury um, uh, services, but also to ensure that we have an industry that's built around it. When the yacht comes around here, they need services, they need food, they need water, they need somebody to clean the boats, they need somebody to paint the boats. So it's a whole gambit of services that's required, uh, which then, of course, feeds into the economy and grows the economy and grows the GDP. I think the, the fact that we've made all these changes um, uh, has proven quite uh, successful, and we, we believe that it will grow from strength to strength. I don't want to get into a policy debate with uh, John. The fact is, in French Polynesia, your tax level is extremely high. You don't pay 20% corporate tax, nor do you pay 20% uh, personal income tax. So I think we have to take these things one step at a time. Our economic models are different. Uh, not everything can be provided for free. But I think the fact is that our agencies do do a good job, and uh, we need to support that. We have to be, at the same time, very cognizant of the fact that uh, as seen a couple of weeks ago, we had this uh, gas with giant African snails coming into Fiji. We have to be extremely careful of that. And for the sake of tourism, we cannot compromise our environment. We cannot compromise our biodiversity. And that is equally important. In the same way, in order to maintain our product value, we also have to ensure that uh, things like immigration protocols and immigration rules are adhered to. We simply cannot become a dumping ground for people who are running away from the law in other parts of the, of, of the world. So um, it is a very good step forward that's uh, taking place here today. Uh, we'd like the Punta Marina people to work together with the agencies. It is a collaborative effort. Uh, it is a, um, a partnership, a collaboration that's built on trust and faith. And we need that to obviously be reinforced. And uh, we also like to say to the people living around Vunda and the people of Vunda to take advantage of this. And we look forward to the Vunda Marina operators to ensure that the benefits flow down to the local economy and indeed the local people live around here. So congratulations uh, to Vunda Marina and of course all of the uh, different agencies who are here. I'm sure we'll all reap the benefits of it. Uh, and I wish you a very good afternoon. Thank you.